In this video, I'll be demonstrating how to use GIMP to create 3D text like you see here. Let's start by creating a new project. So go to the File menu and select New. And I'm going to use a width of 640 pixels and a height of 400 pixels. So the first thing that we're going to do is to add the text. So click on the Text tool and then set the font to Sans Bold. Set the size to 200 pixels. And then make sure that the color is set to black. And then come over here to the Canvas area and click. And then type your text. And then we can move this into position by clicking on the Move tool. And then we'll just slide this up to the middle. Then go over to the text layer on the right and right click and select Layer to Image Size. And that will scale our text layer to be the same size as our background layer. And the next thing we want to do is duplicate this layer. So you can do that by pressing this button right here. And for now, let's turn off the duplicate layer that we just made. And we can do that by pressing this button that looks like an eye. And then select the text layer right below it. And now we're ready to work on the 3D effect. And the type of 3D that we're going to be using is a perspective type of 3D. So we need to choose a vanishing point. And the best way to describe what a vanishing point is, is just to show a couple of examples. For this first example, the vanishing point is located at the bottom middle of this image. And I put a little white dot here to show you where that's at. And when the vanishing point is down here, you'll be able to see the bottom of the text as if you were looking at it from underneath. And for this second example, the vanishing point is located up here at the top where you see this white dot. So in this example, we can see the top of the text as if we were looking down from above. For the image that we're working on right now, we're going to put the vanishing point right in the middle. So first we need to determine how many pixels we are from the left side of our image and how many pixels we are from the top. So we can do that by using the Measure tool, which is this button right here. So position your cursor at the point where you want the vanishing point to be located at, and then press and hold the mouse button and drag this off over to the left side of the image. And then when you're at the very left side, you can let up on the mouse button. And then if you come down here at the bottom, it'll tell you how many pixels you are away from the left side. So this says that we're 321 pixels away, so we need to remember that number. And then grab this point and pull it up to the top. And then you can come down and look at how many pixels we are away from the top. And here it says that we're 210 pixels away, so we need to remember this number also. So then next, go up to the Filters menu and select Blur and Motion Blur. And then set the blur type to zoom. And if you recall, when we measured the distance of our vanishing point from the left side of our image, it was 321 pixels. So we need to enter that value in here. And we were 210 pixels away from the top of the image, so we need to enter that value in here. And then come down here to where this says blur outward and make sure that this is unchecked. And then for the length here, set this to about 30. And then press OK. And here you can see that we've added a blur to our text. And then next, click on the Select by Color tool, which is this button right here. And then click anywhere in this white background. And this will select everywhere that this is transparent on this text layer. And then go up to the Select menu and select Invert. And now we've selected anywhere that this is fully or partially colored with black. And now we're going to add a gradient to this selection. So go over here and click on the Blend tool. And make sure that the gradient is set to FG to BG, which is foreground to background and make sure that the shape is set to linear. 
And then come up here and make sure that your foreground color is set to black and the background color is set to white. And then starting about right here, just click and hold the mouse button and drag this down to create a gradient. And now you can turn the top layer on, so click this button right here. And then also click on the top layer to select it. And then right click on this top layer and select Alpha to Selection. And this will select all of our top layer text. And now we're going to add a little bit of a shine to the front of this text. So click on the Ellipse Select tool, which is this button right here. And then down in the Tool Options, click on the third button from the left, which is this button right here. And this button will allow us to subtract part of the selection that we already have selected. So just come over here and draw an ellipse. And I'm going to resize the top of it a little bit. And since this ellipse subtracts part of the selection, we can see that what we have selected now is just the top part of each of these letters. And then next we want to shrink down the selection just a little bit. So go up to the Select menu and select Shrink. And set this value here to 2 pixels and then press OK. And we're going to add the shine to a new layer. So press this button right here to add a new layer and set the layer fill type to transparency and press OK. And then next select the blend tool which is this button and then come down here to the gradient type and we're going to select FG to transparent which is foreground to transparent. And then reverse the foreground and background colors by pressing this double arrow and then come over here to our image and start about right here and press and hold the mouse button and drag this down to about this spot. And that adds the shine to the front of our text. And now we can turn the selection off by going to the select menu and select none. Then the next thing we're going to do is add just a little bit of a blur to the middle two text layers. So click on this layer right here just above the background and then go up to the Filters menu and select Blur and Gaussian Blur. And set the horizontal and vertical blur radius to 2 pixels. And then press OK. And then select the text layer right above our current layer. And then go up to the Filters menu. And since the Gaussian Blur was the most recent filter that we used, it'll be right up here at the top and we just need to select Repeat Gaussian Blur. And now as a final step, we're going to add a gradient to our background. So click on the background layer at the bottom, and then select the Blend tool, which is this button, and then click on the foreground color to select a color, and I'm going to use a light blue. And then for the gradient type, select FG to BG, and then for the shape, change it from linear to radial. And then you can start it about the middle, press and hold the mouse button, and drag this out to the edge. And then we can combine all of these layers together by going to the Image menu and select Flatten Image. And now we have our completed 3D text. Well, that concludes this video. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe and leave a comment.